Thank you. Sorry, Bianca. I'm just trying to protect you from yourself. I mean, it's not like you were born a slut. Bianca, this is Darlene Tharp, the school shrink we have to have here by law. She's going to ask you a few questions. Hey. Is this okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just know that I am here to listen with open ears, open heart, and open mind. It is just the two of us against the world. Okay. Bianca, please tell us the nature of your relationship with Mr. Ross. It's just your normal run-of-the-mill student-teacher variety. <laughs> Bianca, sweetie, this is a safe place, okay? Think of me as your cool aunt, or your BFF, or all those ladies from The View rolled into one. Oh, Lord. Okay, Bianca, can you show me on the doll where Mr. Ross touched you? Bianca, are you having an affair with Liam or not? Liam, who is Liam? Liam Ross. No, absolutely not. I've never had an affair with anybody. Listen, I'm very aware that Mr. Ross is an attractive, extremely attractive, funny, sexy man with really nice hands. Uh, but you don't have to protect him. Because he is the enemy. You can destroy him. Would you like to hurt Mr. Ross? Come on, go ahead. You can rip his head off. You can do it. Ms. Tharp, I swear nothing happened. It was just a story. I made it up. Listen, I know you don't want to betray your lover. That's understandable. But if this is true, he needs to go to jail, no matter how good-looking he is. This is going to sound really stupid, but I was just pretending to be a bad girl. I'm actually a goody-goody. I don't own a thong, I floss every day, and sometimes when I cross the street, I still like to hold my daddy's hand. And... I have a lucky cat. <sighs> Poor Mr. Doodles. All right, thank you, Bianca. We'll take it from here. Stop. That's how we got into this mess. Just...